Welcome to episode two of Worth Thinking About, and boy, have I got some stuff to stretch your head with this week. Noise-canceling headphones? You'll have to watch the previous episode. Yeah, there's a wine bar downstairs. Why am I yelling? I can't hear anything. But I've ridden across America three times. I've learned a few lessons. Um, I've learned um, to listen and to expect something larger than yourself to guide or unfold or to be a part of your journey. So it was just uh, yesterday that Angelina and I were watching uh, Senator Lindsey Graham talk about being raised with his dad owning a bar and um, the lessons he learned about life and politics and people and so here are some of these key points show up show up show up show up like record post be there get involved with meeting people face to face go to funerals go to celebrations and be part of that whole thing focus on your message don't focus on other people's messages focus on yours don't let the garbage distract you (laughs) and having to deal with that right Just try not to get emotionally involved in all that. And mostly have fun. Be personable. Be real. So this week's lesson, obviously unscripted again, but hopefully you'll recognize that it's authentic. And let's go to my desk. I'm going to walk you through uh, where we're going. you got to make light or see things in a humorous fashion at times, even though... What you have in your mind is not always what you can create. You have to let go sometimes and be in a creator. So you'll notice I have earplugs in and the whole story behind that is last week, this week, today. So we're on the road in a couple of weeks. Last couple of episodes here I'm going to do on the way. Now, I've written some things here. I want to try to not be a watchmaker that can't tell you the time. But at the same time, you have to understand, I'm talking like a chessboard at three different levels. See, there's what's the experience of being a creator, and what's the process that you go through, and what is the historical context of what we're doing? Why is it important? Well, in the creative component of it, you have to be self-aware. And so today we're going to talk about illusions. Last episode we talked about scotomas, blind spots. See, I have to talk to the audience. So will you. The audience in this case is admirals, generals, senators, corporate CEOs, business owners, doctors, um, students, young men that are gaming, and, and try to that's multiple layers of that audience, right? You got to assemble all this stuff together from bits and pieces to try to accomplish your movement. And for 360 minutes, addressing dataism. We'll go into that in a minute. <laughs> There's a temptation to stray. On the base level, I have to make an episode. That's what this is. It's an episode of a series, which is part of a corpus. You see all the layers? I do, you watch. This is unscripted. I'm doing, you're watching me. That's so that we can do, we can watch. You join the 360 Men journey, the expedition, the book, the video series. Come be a part of this whole thing. Learn what this is about. And look at that. It's like... um, What's that guy that used to have the... Yeah, I'll think of it and include that here. Anyway, that's a weird little juxtaposition. And uh, then eventually it'll be you do, I watch as the corpus gets built. You used to write... You guys, do you know who he is? Good evening. Yeah. I'll look it up. Stick it in here. We'll go with that. 
Okay, so these are the three different layers, and this episode's gonna be really fun. We're gonna talk about illusions. See, the basic premise here is, we don't see things the way they are. We see things the way we are. We don't always see things very clearly. We see things based on our interpretation, our confirmation bias, the, the way dataism narrows our worldview by giving us confirmation bias based on our clicks and our whereabouts and our data trail. Okay, let's come to my computer and have a look at an illusion. Okay, two cameras today. Hey, the guy's name was Alfred Hitchcock. And he always had, not always, but he often had a shadow cast on the wall as he talked. And his theme was always make the audience suffer as much as possible, right? Hopefully that's not the case with you guys. Take a closer look. Look at the one on the left, the orange, the orange dot on the left and the orange dot on the right. Who's bigger? Who's more correct? Which one has more power? The left or the right? Which one's correct? The right or the left? You see what's going on? Turns out they're identical. Measure them. They're both exactly the same. What you see is not reality. What you see is a perception and you can easily be fooled we're going to go into that a bit more. Let's look at some more. There's a chessboard. You see the squares? Are all the squares different colored? Well, they should be, right? They're a chessboard. So check out A and B. And look really closely. Because what you're going to find out is A and B are exactly the same color the same hue, the same shade of gray. They're not different colors. What? Look again. Okay, let's switch back and forth. Get it? They're exactly the same shade, but because of the proximity of another object. You see that in logic, you see that in storylines, you see that in accusations without evidence, corroboration, that's been thrown all around, that's coming at us, and I'm talking about the big picture of dataism. You're not going to get the whole picture. This is a, I want to say ancient, but it's not really ancient, but it's at least a hundred years old. You can only see one at a time. You see the old lady, or you see the young maiden, depending on which one that you, the old hag looking down, the young maiden looking away, right? Which one is it? Secondhand lions. Interesting phrase in this movie. Fun movie just to watch. A couple of old guys take care of their nephew and teach him masculinity for the summer. But there's a phrase in there that Bill Sharman alerted me to, and it goes like this. Everyone needs something to believe in, even if it's not true. And that's really a big point if you start thinking that through in your everyday life of how much information that's not true is pushed on people so that they can grapple with something to grab onto to make their world a little more certain. But becoming comfortable with uncertainty is Angelina's expertise or it's her... Anyway, it's been my journey for the last 20 years working as an entrepreneur and not knowing exactly where we're going but willing to take the steps to get there and trusting that along the way provision will make itself... It'll be provided, you'll have everything you need, and that's what the cycling thing three times on America was for me. Letting go of my control and accepting the way things play out. Okay, it's a lot there. Watch this movie, it's really good. 
Now I'm going to have you listen to uh, one that's been going around. It's the Yanni Laurel. We're going to, I'm going to ask you, which of the two do you hear? Do you, do you hear Yanni or do you hear Laurel? And people hear one or the other shows you that it's not just visual, it's auditory where we have discrepancies and things. Listen to this. Laurel. 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 Catherine Schultz has a TED Talk. She's probably had an aggregate of over 10 million views on being wrong. Huge part of self-awareness. Huge piece of an illusion. Part of the game that the big companies are using against those of us that use technology. That narrows our world view. That plays with our belief system is described by her... TED Talk, really excellent one. You need to watch it. You really need to take the time. The link's down below, part of the article, part of the um, YouTube post. Because we do, based on our biology, want to save energy. We want to find patterns, jump to conclusions, and not have to think so hard. You know, we may need some of this fat energy stored in our bodies for the coming winter so yeah that's okay you can step on that whatever you know it's our our biology betrays us so watch Katherine Schultz on being wrong and how much we run around in our lives being the victim of our own thinking all right here sits the queen of Ad lib. And if you've ever seen those clips of Sasquatch walking behind the reporter in the woods, and I'm talking about Catherine Schultz on being wrong, and I've just finished pointing out my shadow like Alfred Hitchcock. I don't. I didn't turn on the other camera. It doesn't matter. Can you can you see what's going on here? Realize that I would be caught in the background with me putting a mask on my face and so as Daniel referenced, you know, the cameraman that has Sasquatch walking behind him in the woods, uh, I guess for a moment that's exactly what happened here and yeah, this is diffuse time. When I'm having a rough morning and I'm trying to process some things and reframing certain things, sometimes it helps just to put on a mask. <laughs> no, the opposite. <laughs> Take your damn mask off, guys. Don't listen to that woman. She'll distract you to no end. One of the layers in this multi-board chess game that we're playing has to do with social media and has to do with the relationship building and being able to go deep in the pool. Not just toes in the water, but Olympic diving board kind of stuff. And you'll find that if you post some very thought-provoking questions that you'll be able to go deep with a smaller number of men. And I want to thank all of you that are actually engaging with me. It seems that on the evidence side for dataism, you'll see those recommender buttons, you know, those, those um, AI suggestions on what your safe response can be. And I don't want you to be unaware, right? This is a lesson about illusions and psychological um, blind spots. Don't be unaware of what's going on. In order for the social media to recommend what to say, they've got to find the context of the conversation. They have to know the tone, they have to know the sentiment of what's going on. Those are all black boxes in AI. They all fit together in order to give you recommendations. And if you know, notice, as you go through different conversations, those suggestions change, right? It's one thing to use AI to keep a car in a lane. 
it's a complete another thing to keep a person in a conversation that someone else likes or controls or steers or don't miss what's going on. We're becoming more and more dependent on this kind of stuff. I'm just saying. All right, so that's this week's uh, Worth Thinking About episode number two. And you know what to do, right? Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come over and talk to us at 360 Men. Get your toes in the water, guys. Take that freaking mask off and become more self-aware. Share what your story is with the rest of the guys. Help build a corpus and fight the oncoming slot of dataism. There's a big word for the week. All right, see you next time.